We now welcome in Jeremy Schapp, host of OTL and E60, who has covered numerous Olympic Games and is an aficionado of Olympic history. So, Jeremy, it's very interesting because even though Dick Pound said that the Games are going to be postponed, we have no official word from the IOC. What can you tell us about the discussions that are undergoing? Well, that's right, Hannah. I mean, Dick Pound, what he told Christine Brennan of USA Today, today is what's going to happen. The Olympics are going to be postponed, but the IOC yesterday announced that they're going to wait several weeks to make uh, an official decision and to make an official announcement. But there's only one direction this can possibly be heading in. Shinzo Abe, the prime minister of Japan, has said it's going to be postponed. The president of the Tokyo Olympic Organizing Committee has said it's going to be postponed. So while Dick Pound doesn't speak for the IOC, what he's saying at this point is simply a foregone conclusion. But what's taking place right now are complicated legal and financial discussions because if they just cancel the games outright, uh, it leaves the IOC and the organizing committee open um, to lawsuits possibly. There are financial repercussions. These are billion-dollar events, as you know, multi-multi-billion-dollar events. And so uh, there are ways in which they would be legally exposed if they don't dot all the I's and cross all the T's before they actually announce a decision. But you know as well as I do, Hannah, mm -hmm. this is only going to end up one way, at least a postponement, if not probably less likely cancellation of the games of the 32nd Olympiad. Yeah, I mean, you always offer such a great perspective on Olympic history. And when you hear the word cancellation, immediately one thinks of the Jimmy Carter boycott of the Moscow Games in 1980 in this generation of American athletes that missed out on that once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Obviously, this is a different situation. Uh, it affects athletes the world over. How has the IOC approached cancellations and postponements in the past? Well, well, look, Hannah, you know, um, there have been three occasions on which the games have actually been canceled. And that was 1916, 1940, and 1944 because of the First and the Second World Wars. Nothing else has stopped the games, not the boycotts in 1976 or 1980 or 1984 or the much smaller boycott in 1988. Uh, the games went on in the immediate aftermath of the murder of 11 members of the Israeli delegation in 1972. The games are always inclined, the IOC, to go on. But this is an unprecedented situation. Perhaps the thing that's most analogous was just four years ago uh, with the Zika epidemic, and back then, you know, the IOC decided we were going to go on with the Rio games, even though there was the Zika epidemic taking place. As it happened, as far as we know, no one went to the games to attend them or compete in them later uh, tested positive for Zika. In 1920, the uh, Spanish influenza epidemic had already ended by the time the games in Antwerp were taking place. But this is this is different. This is uncharted waters. Yeah, and, and Zika was was not classified as a pandemic. And there are a series of countries here, Jeremy. I mean, we talk about everything that goes into this decision. They are lined up to host the Olympics. Beijing is going to host the Winter Games in 2022, but maybe even more pertinent to our discussion today because it involves athletes in summer sports. You have Paris hosting the Summer Games in 2024. So are they prepared for there to be simply a three-year span between Summer Games? Look, we know the sequence can change. I mean, we remember, you know, before 1994, you had the winter and the summer games the same year in every cycle. And then they decided to split them off starting in 1994 on a two-year interval. If they needed to have the summer games in a place like Tokyo, which is obviously already prepped, although there are some accommodations um, that would have to be made, things that have been promised to other people in terms of the Olympic Village, stuff like that, they can find places to do it. There are enough places that have played host to the games games, that it would be feasible, and they'd have to change the schedule. But these are these are big decisions, but as we've already said, you know, it's there's no way it can happen this summer. At mm -hmm. this point, it can't happen. Right. I mean, because we're not just talking about the games starting in late July. We're talking about all the Olympic trials that determine the Olympic teams leading up to the game. So the, the, calendar, training, the calendar really starts much, much sooner than that. Uh, Jeremy Schapp, thanks so much for your perspective. Appreciate it, as always.